Good morning, folks. We've got a big solar eruption to check out today. There's a new video from Sky Scholar, two excellent articles on space weather and human health, and one on North Pole thunderstorms that probably has their causal hypothesis wrong. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and you'll see several filament releases. Biggest ones are top left and top right. Neither one is aimed at the Earth. Earth got lucky with one of those as it's got phenomenal density to it, the release behind the limb top left was a huge plasma filament that blasted away and did so in totality. Tons of plasma with this one. We're lucky it's not aimed at Earth. You can see how much of that density there is on the coronagraphs even better. Huge CME. This would have certainly created strong geomagnetic storms if it hit the Earth. Its electrical disruption to the broader solar system could produce a seismic watch over the next three days, and it will directly impact Mercury as you can see here on the solar system view. When we zoom out from there, you can see it will then impact Jupiter as well. Uranus is also in that direction way back there. Earth gets lucky again. Seismic watch enhanced through Wednesday. Boom. We're off to Sky Scholar, where the second video on white dwarf science has come out. Just yesterday, we showed the article about how they're still trying to figure out those stars, which is a nice open door for Dr. Robitaille to continue correcting the science of the stars, especially these ones. Two articles on space weather and human health up next. The first is on electromagnetic fields and iron metabolism in the body. This technically applies not only to solar storms, but human-made EMF and to the changing magnetic field environment of our planet with the ongoing geomagnetic excursion. The second one hits the delayed effect of solar storms on mortality via non-acute processes. There are over a thousand studies on the rapid negative impact of these events on the body, but far fewer on the lasting impact of that exposure. Solid work done there. Last but not least, accompanying the valid observation on increasing thunderstorms in the North Pole, there is a poor hypothesis. They're trying to say that maybe it's the warming world, but even at a couple warmer degrees. That's not enough for thunderstorm generation at the polar region. The better explanation is the increased electric particle bombardment the poles are taking through the polar cusps in this geomagnetic excursion as our magnetic field weakens. More and more space energy entering the Earth system, directly electrifying the atmosphere. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.